everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into this video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a newborn must have video. So I'm going to be going over all the essential things that you need for when you first bring your baby home through three months. So these are the key things. You want to keep it as simple as possible. There's not like a whole bunch of fancy things that you really need. Baby's not going to require a whole lot. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into this video and go over those essential things that you need for zero to three months. The very first thing I want to go over is clothes. So you don't need a whole bunch of different cute little outfits, things like that for baby when you first bring them home because they're not going to be going out very much. You're going to be pretty much at home most of the time, especially in those like that first, first month, especially you're not going to really be going out and doing things. You don't really need to like dress up baby. So what I would say are some key things that you're going to need are onesies. So I like just these basic, just white onesies are nice. I also have onesies that have like prints and designs on them. But basically your baby, your newborn baby is going to live in these onesies. So I have this plain white one. And then I also have, if it's, you know, you have your baby during your winter months, I have the long sleeve ones as well. So these are nice to have as well. So I have a whole bunch of long sleeve ones and they all have different little prints on them as well so these are examples another key clothing item that you should have is these zip up pajamas so these these are awesome you can just literally put your baby in them zip them up this one has like a little snap thing up here and you can just so you can snap the zipper down so you can just snap it in but I love these because it's just so much easier to put baby in these rather than putting baby in, for example. These, the snaps are really hard um, for newborns, especially like at night when you're having like those nighttime feedings or nighttime diaper changes. It's hard to do the snaps because it's gonna take you forever to go through and like snap each snap, especially when you get down to this bottom area here, it seems to get a little tricky. So I definitely suggest sticking with these for that first zero to three months span time. These are awesome. I also have, have some other ones. I don't have them on me right now, but there's some other ones that have little hand things that go over the hand so you can actually cover the hand so then baby doesn't scratch their face. The next clothing item I wanna go over is just these like pants and top sets. So these were easy little things to just throw on if you did wanna have like a little outfit. I would just throw on this little pants and top set and then put like a onesie under do this and then um, these don't have feet on them so I found only these socks right here they're um, by Gerber they're other organic socks these were the only socks that I could find that would actually like stay on her feet that she would like not kick off so these are definite must-have um, I'm gonna try and link everything that I'm showing you guys in this video down below so hopefully I can find these and link them but I did get them at Target so these are awesome all right, so that's it for clothing. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot of things, just some pajamas, onesies, maybe a little top and matching um, pants outfit. But other than that, you really don't need anything else for baby. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to blankets, like swaddles, things of that nature. So let's start with swaddles. So you can either do like your actual swaddle blankets that you have. This is really big one as you can tell here this one is by Aiden and Anai I don't know if I say that right but um, I really like this blanket this blanket is also good I like to just throw it over her in her car seat or if I just want to like kind of wrap her up in it or just put it over her this is just a nice like lightweight blanket to have and then another blanket that I like to have is just these fuzzy blankets are also really nice to have um, you can just like lay them on the couch and you can like lay her down or lay on the bed if you want to have something these are really nice to have as well but it's not like that big of a necessity but i really found that i use these blankets a lot as far as swaddling too besides that aiden and an eye big pink blanket i have these pre-swaddles here i love these pre-swaddles because it's just so much easier to put baby in and out so it's very easy so this is the foot part so you would just put baby's feet in there and then you would go over the top and then wrap this around baby 
behind their back and then just take this other one and wrap it around and ta-da, you are all set. So these are really easy to have. Unfortunately, Belle didn't really care to be swaddled so I really didn't even use these much. I bought like a whole bunch of them and then ended up not really using them. So I would buy like one, I believe. They have packs of one. I think this one that I had came in like a pack of three. I got these at Target as well. But um, you can definitely just try out one and see if this is something your baby likes or not because not all babies are created equal and not all babies like to be swaddled, especially mine. Next thing we're gonna jump into is bedtime, nap time, sleep time. Baby's gonna be sleeping an awful lot in those beginning months. So something that I really found that I loved was this Docatot. My daughter literally lived in this Docatot. She's still living in it to this day. Um, she co-sleeps with me a lot, so I just put this in the bed with me. I feel really safe with it. She loves it. She feels like snug in it. And then I also like that I can put it in her bassinet, like it fits in her bassinet because her bassinet is so big right now, so she has lots of room to move around. So when they're little, they want to feel like nice and snug and, you know, and tight like they were in the womb. So this is great. It also has like a snap here at the bottom where you can like snap it close and make it tighter. So then it, you know, hugs baby very well. So if you do not have a dog tot, get a dog tot. Um, this is absolutely an amazing thing to have. They are kind of pretty, they are pretty pricey, but it's definitely worth the money. So get a dog tot. Not sponsored, by the way, but get a dog tot. Another good thing to have for sleeping is this hatch light, night light sound machine. This is absolutely amazing. If you do not have one of these, be sure to get one. I love it because you can operate it from your phone and it has different settings on it and you can set different timers on it. So if you want to like have your baby go down at a certain time, it'll like come on and it'll shut off when you want it to shut off. You can change the light color. You can change the sound. If you want to have it like dim down at a certain time in the middle of the night, it'll dim down. If you want to have like a wake up, um, a wake up time, you can set the timer to have a wake up time and it can just change all the noises. But I love this. You can operate it from your phone, so if you're laying down in bed, like I'm co-sleeping, if you're laying down in bed, you can literally like go on the app, pull it up, you can turn the brightness light up, you can turn the brightness light down, you can switch the sound, so this is definitely a must-have. Also, they have like this ring up here, so if you have like certain settings, you can just like tap this top silver ring here, and it'll change the setting as well, so be sure to get this. Um, it is not portable, it is going to need a cord, it's not wireless. And also there are settings on the bottom too, so if you don't want to use your phone, um, there are power buttons down here, like the sounds that they have on here, all these buttons will change all the different settings. So this is definitely something that is good to have. Next thing I want to move into is her swing, like I was just saying. So my daughter has two swings. She has the Mamaru and then she has a Graco swing. I think it's the Deluxe swing. I'll be sure to link it down below. But as you can see here, she loves the swing. She like falls asleep in it. I can put her in it and just rock her and let her chill. And she's like really content. She absolutely loves the swing. The Mamaru, on the other hand, like she'll get in it, but she just doesn't really seem to care for that one too much. Like she'll sit in it for a little bit, but then she's like over it. I think she's maybe fallen asleep in that one maybe like once or twice. But the Mamaru, like a lot of people will rant and rave over that one. And I really wanted the Mamaru like so bad. I was like, I have to have the Mamaru and I got it and I'm just like, not even using this thing. <laughs> so um, the Graco was definitely where it was at. So, okay, next, let's talk about feeding. So I am exclusively breastfeeding. If you are breastfeeding, you definitely need a nursing pillow. So I have two nursing pillows. So I'm gonna show you both of them. So let's start with the Boppy. A lot of people have the Boppy. So this is my boppy pillow this is the one that i use so it's nice you just take it and you take it around and then you can just place baby on it and feed baby so it's really nice to have um i, I love the boppy i use the boppy with my first daughter as well so this is definitely something you should get if you are breastfeeding but so the boppy is a great pillow to have but another good breastfeeding pillow is this my breast friend so I had never heard about this but one of my other mommy friends out there she has a my best friend and she was like you totally have to get one of these and I absolutely love this thing I actually like it more than the boppy um this one is nice you just take it and it has 
a strap over here so you strap it around your waist but the good thing about this one is it gives you like a wider surface and it's like more flat I would say and it's just easier to kind of pop baby on this especially newborn babies I just felt like I don't know I felt like this one was better than the boppy so totally up to you either the boppy or my best friend both are great try them out but if you're nursing I definitely suggest having a nursing pillow for sure breastfeeding like I said I am exclusively breastfeeding but I do pump milk and then the bottles that I like to use are the Homo Tomo I don't know if I say that right but I love these they have that like big nipple it seems like it's more natural like it's more like the breast so if you're breastfeeding these are definitely a good bottle to have I like these very much um, this one is the five ounce size they also have the next size up um, I would suggest just going straight into that one, but I bought this one as a tester because I wasn't sure if she was going to like this bottle or not, and I didn't want to, like, buy the big ones and buy a whole bunch of them, and then she didn't like it. So I suggest for when you're trying to figure out bottles, just buy, like, the single ones and then play around and see which ones she likes. We tried the Tommy Tippy ones as well. She likes those ones, but I feel like she likes this one way better. So this is what I have stuck to are the Komotomo bottles. And the next thing for feedings that I feel like you must have are bibs. Um, bibs are really good, awesome, definitely needed these. Um, Belle has reflux, so she was throwing up a lot, spitting up a lot, and like literally getting her clothes wet. I was having to change her all the time, so please stock up on bibs. Um, I like these bibs that have like the, the waterproof on the back, so then it doesn't go through onto her clothes and she stays a lot drier but with these cloth ones you know they get wet really quickly and then they can start to go through on clothing so I would definitely say that these are something that you probably won't need unless your baby is just not spitting up as much as mine but if you have a baby with reflux definitely get the ones that have that like water that are waterproof and won't go through onto their clothes so bibs definitely need these next thing I want to say that you really need are burp cloths so I have just like the traditional ones that you have. You can just put it over your shoulder or sometimes I burp bell um, by putting my hand over her stomach and then on her back, um, like sitting her on my lap and then I tap her this way and so then she just burps into the burp cloth and like I said, she has reflux so it's kind of projectile sometimes so it's just nice to kind of like catch it. But these are great to have to just like wipe up her face and everything like that so definitely burp cloths for sure. Um, I really love though these cloth diapers um, so I got these for a baby shower present so I'm not exactly sure where they got them but I'm sure you can find some on Amazon I would actually like to order more but I actually like these more I feel like they just absorb more um, I get more wear out of the cloth diapers than I do the like regular burp cloths so definitely get these ones if you can find them get the diaper the cloth diapers and use them as her cloths um they're good to like wipe up things as well like you can use these for like a lot of things even when she they're so little you can even use it as like a blanket so sometimes i would even like place it over my daughter as like a little blanket or something so these are good to have as well all right let's get into this safety first bag um i have this filled up with all her little essentials so not sure exactly what this came with but um this is everything that I have in here I'm going to show you guys right now so I have a brush and I have a comb so I use this brush and comb for her for when I do her hair um, this also came with I believe it came with these nail clippers I don't remember guys but um, nail clippers are also going to be an essential thing that you need you want to make sure you're keeping baby's nails cut so they're not scratching their face so this is definitely a good thing to have and then I also have like the little emery boards. These are also good to have. So you can just file baby's nails down. They're not too long to where you need to clip them or if you need to just round out those sharp edges, these are nice to have as well. Next thing is a thermometer. You definitely need a thermometer. Um, this one you can place under the arm. You can do it oral. You can do it rectal. So this one will definitely go with baby. Best temperature to breed to get from babies is definitely going to be the rectal the rectal pole is the rectal temp so make sure you have a thermometer that's like a rectal thermometer 
Next thing that I have in this little bag here is some boogie drops. These are awesome. These are safe for newborns. They're non-medicated. It helps clear and moisture stuffy noses. So sometimes Belle does have like a little stuffy nose. So I put a couple of these saline drops in her, in her nose and this works really well. Speaking of noses, this little tool is the best thing ever. It's by Oogie, Oogie Bear. It has two different ends on it. So one side's supposed to be like a wet side and one side's supposed to be like a dry side. So the this is an awesome tool to have. I was finding that, you know, Belle was having runny noses and it was drying up and then she was having all these boogers in her nose. So I found this tool and this is awesome. I believe they have them on Amazon, but I got this one at Bye Bye Baby. So this is definitely a newborn must have for sure for me it was. Next, let's talk about bathing. So when your baby first comes home, you can't actually give them a full on bath until their umbilical little stump falls off. So you just have the sponge bath. But um, some of the products that I did use were, I was using this Noodle and Boo company. Um, it's called Noodle and Boo. And this is for hair and body wash. So I really liked this one. Um, it's dermatologist tested, hyperallergenic tearless so I really like to use this one and then I also got their lotion as well it smells so good I love this smell it just smells like baby um, so these were great I believe that got these from Nordstrom so this is definitely a great thing to have we did use those but Bill also we found that she has like eczema or something or she will break out so I don't know if that was breaking her out or what I don't think it was because she was also having just other random breakouts even when we weren't using that. So I switched her over to the Ivino Eczema Therapy. So I have the moisturizing wash and the lotion. So I use both of these things on her um, during bath time and she hasn't had like really any breakouts. It's helped clear up her eczema or whatever like rash or whatever is irritating her skin. This definitely helps. So if you have a baby that has really, really sensitive skin, try these out and my doctor was like yeah these are great like this is definitely something that you should be using so these are great also during bath time you're going to need a washcloth and a towel these aren't things that you necessarily have to have like i mean you can use your own washcloths or your own towels to dry off baby but i just thought these were cute and nice to have um for baby these are just like her own washcloth so then she's not sharing everything with else with everybody especially since her skin is so sensitive so definitely like these all right next let's move on to diapering so I love the Pampers swaddlers those I absolutely love I use them with my first daughter and now I'm using them with Belle as well but those are out those are awesome I love them I love the swaddlers I've never had any problems with them so that's what I've always stuck to so I use those for her Pampers and then as far as wipes I like the water wipes. The water wipes are awesome. They literally are 99% water and then the rest is just a food extra. But since Bill, like I said, has that sensitive skin, I've just been using these um, just to be safe because I just don't want to have any breakouts for her. These ones are pretty pricey, but um, if you buy them like in the bulk, they last me pretty, a pretty long time. But um, these are awesome. And then you can just use them for other things since it's pretty much water. Like I'll use it just like wipe her face off or like wipe her hands down or if I just want to give her like a quick just wipe down I use these on her all the time so these are great these are awesome these are definitely essential to have another thing that you need with diapering is the aqua four so um, I put this on as a preventative I also used it on her skin for like rashes and stuff for her like her eczema and this helped with it as well um, so this was good definitely not only for her bottom but also for just her skin as well so this is really good as well so make sure you get the baby off before. Alright let's talk about passies. So with pacifiers I didn't give her I didn't give Belle her first pacifier until she was almost a month old. They say if you are breastfeeding you want to wait at least four weeks so that baby establishes a good latch and doesn't have any nipple confusion before you give baby a pacifier. So I believe I gave it to her around about the four week mark, it was either three or four weeks, but um, I finally gave it and gave her a pacifier. Um, she does like the pacifier and then she also loves the little like wubba nubs that have a little animal attached to them. I like having this one because 
these you can lose very easily, whereas you can see the big stuffed animal on it and you know, oh, that's where her passy is. So I love to have these ones. These are great to have. And then I will just like, just like place it on her chest and it'll just lay there. So I love the love it up. So get your love it up. All right. The last thing I want to talk about is the baby app. So it's the baby newborn tracker app. And this app is great because it tracks like her sleep. It tracks her diapers, how many wet diapers she has, how many poop poopy diapers she has. It tracks her feeding. So how much form, if you're doing formula, it'll track how much formula like you fed your baby, what time you fed your baby. It has like feeding alarms on there. And then if you're breastfeeding, it says like how long you've fed on one side and what side you left on last. So it's a great app to have, especially like when you're going to the doctors and your doctor's like, well, how many times a day is she feeding? Or how many ounces is she drinking? Or how many wet diapers is she having? How many poopy diapers is she having? It's nice to just like pull up that app and be like, oh, here you go. Like she's had this many diapers and she's been feeding this much. So that's definitely a great newborn necessity to have. It's absolutely free. Just download the app and that one is free to have as well. All right, guys, so that is all that I have for you for newborn must-haves. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have seen some things that you were like, oh, my gosh, I absolutely have to go and get that. Oh, my gosh, I don't have that yet. Like, I hope that it helps you guys to be able to be ready for that new baby that you have coming or the baby that you already have at home and you're, like, struggling and need to know what products to use. I hope that this video has helped you, and I will be back with three to six month video and I want to pretty much do this up to a year mark so I'm going to keep bringing these videos to you guys so if you did enjoy it be sure to give the video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye everybody